Tommy Ramone, the last of the original members of the Ramones, was honored in Nassau County, New York yesterday as fans and musicians mourned his recent death. It's rumored that he was battling cancer when he passed away this past Sunday, and Ramon's age varied from 62 to 65, depending on sources. What is known is that he helped write many of their hits, but what people forget is there are still two living members of the band that were in the band longer than five years, CJ Ramon and Marky Ramon, who came aboard to replace Tommy on drums. While it's true that they both came later, Marky arrived in 1978 while the band was still in its heyday and helped write one of the band's biggest hits, I Want to Be Sedated. I Want to Be Sedated. Uh, the first song that me, Johnny, and Joey, and Dee Dee uh, recorded when I joined the band. I Want to Be Sedated. Uh, <clears throat> back then, it was, uh, it was to a lot of people a drug reference. So that wasn't going to get played. Now, it would have, you know, now obviously it's sold millions uh, by this time, but now I don't think anybody would have cared because uh, it's really, uh, it really relates to flying. You know, I mean, you could have a few martinis, you could have some rusty nails, so you could have some old fashions before you go on the plane. But uh, back then, uh, I think uh, a lot of people uh, thought it was a drug drug reference. Previous to the Ramones, Marky started out with a heavy rock band called Dust, who just re-released their music through Sony Legacy. There were two other drummers for the band, Richie Ramone and Elvis Ramone. Richie's run was 1983 to 1987, and Elvis only joined them in 1987. Oh.